What's going on everyone? Welcome back to a new video. My name is of course Paul. It's currently late in the evening again and I've just been getting everything ready. So, I'll spin the camera around, I'll show you everything I've been getting ready tonight. So, right now, this is all the stuff that I've got with me. Unfortunately, she's not going. Right, okay. So everything's laid out on the bed. That needs to either go in my suitcase or go in the hand luggage bag. So what I've got laid out here right now. Snapchat spectacles. Me actual Ray-Ban sunglasses, as you know, I'm not going to wear these all the time. The V-mount for the camera. Wireless charging pad, which yes, is made by Samsung. GoPro mount for the car. Manfrotto mini tripod. Light adapter for the pistol grip that's in my bag. Anchor, portable battery, Nintendo Switch, AirPods, shoulder pod, Canon charger, light charger and my Montar car mount for inside the car and then tomorrow inside this bag we'll get sorted out and then this will be all done all this stuff here and then the Apple Watch I'm currently just reconnecting now back to me but what I figured we'd do today's video on is something that I've never told you before and that was the reason behind why I bought the Corsa VXR as you all know I had the focus I had the Corsa VXR before this one and then I had a white focus. So what happened was I was looking at obviously the new shape and I wasn't a big fan. I really wasn't. I've told you this in the past. I wasn't a big fan of it. Then it came to actually looking for a car and I started looking at the old shape course of VXR. Like the shape that I had. And then I couldn't make my mind up. And then all of a sudden there was a video by Sam from Scene Through Glass on the new course of VXR. And he done a video with Paul Wallace where they compared it to the Lamborghini. I don't know whether you've seen Vauxhall's advertisement for it with um, Chris Kamara and you know some footballers as well in there that they were racing the course of the XR and the Lamborghini through a car park. So if you haven't seen that by the way I'll leave it linked down below for you if you want to check that out. But Sam's video will also be linked down below if you want to check that one out too. It was while I was watching Sam's video and the more I watched it the more I was like I'm gonna have to do it, I'm gonna have to go and I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to go and get one. There's no two ways about it, I'm gonna have to go and get one. Shopped around, as you know, and I found the white one. And then it was only after really sitting there and then watching the video back again, I realised that I actually bought it off the back of Sam doing his video. Because I don't think I'll probably I mean Maybe I would have, maybe I wouldn't have, maybe it would have took a bit longer and I probably wouldn't have ended up with that one. That's pretty much the reason behind why I ended up buying the Corsa VXR and the reason that I went straight in for it. I'd only had the focus for a year, as you know, and I just literally went straight for the Corsa VXR. After that video, I think after this video went live, I think I had mine four weeks. I had mine four weeks later. After this video went live, I'd got I'd done the deal and done everything and had my car four weeks after that video went live. Paul Wallace also made the video going through pretty much the same thing, but it was off Sam's recommendation, that's how I ended up going, just jumping straight in for it. I'm glad I did. However, it is of course now time for me to make a change. I did phone a garage this morning because I was looking at one car and it hasn't worked out. I'll tell you that story another day, maybe before the end of the year kicks out. But the deal was wasn't really working out for me. But it was a BMW and it was an M2. But the deal just wasn't there for it. So I'm now currently still shopping round. But the other side of the thing is now the episodes are going to kick in next year, where I pick my next car. So I hope you're all ready for that one guys. But however, that is the story of how I came to end up with the course of VXR. That's the God's honest truth behind it all. It was because of Sam's video. And if, as I say, if you haven't seen that, it's linked down below for you. Also the Vauxhall Advair video is also linked down below if you want to check that out. But guys, I'm going to end today's video here. I hope you enjoyed this one. All the stuff is currently still laid out here. As you can see, it's all ready to go. I just need to work out whether it's going in hand luggage or whether it's going to the case. If it's going to the case, I need to stick it with me tomorrow. And then tomorrow night, I also need to park the car on the pavement. And that's where it's going to stay for the next two weeks. 
so i'm going to end today's video here guys thanks so much for watching i truly appreciate it drop a like on this video for me subscribe if you're new to the channel browse around and i'll see you all in tomorrow's video thanks for watching guys see you all tomorrow by the way this is it one more day to go Good